Good morning, everybody. So I'm doing something a little different this morning. I just took a ride up to the farm to pick up my order and realize that when I shot him an email, the farmer, I, I forgot that my order won't be ready till tomorrow morning. <laughs> I do this like every Saturday, usually, I will get up my order at the farm. I, you know, email them during the week and let them know what I want and then come up here and um, pick up my order. However, today I, I'm on the wrong day. I asked for Sunday, not Saturday. But that's okay because I don't live very far from my house and it's, uh, it's a nice drive. I don't mind the drive. So I figured I'd take you all for a drive with me this morning. Kind of go in the scenic route. Well, it's all scenic route here because I live in a rural area. It's all scenic, but anyways, y'all going to go for a drive with me this morning. Country roads take me home to the place where I belong. Actually, a spot down here more where it's just absolute view is absolutely flipping gorgeous. Try to try to see if y'all can see that. <clears throat> I love where I live. It's um. There's no place like it. I mean, I'm sure there is places like it, but to me, there's no place like like New Hampshire. I um, I love it here. Born and raised. So I guess I'll come up tomorrow morning at nine and get my order. like to put in a you know an order with the farmers I still shop at the supermarkets I'm not gonna not shop at the supermarkets I don't want to put anybody out of business here we go that's the view I wanted to show you guys I don't know how much of that you can see you're about to see more because I'm about to take this corner I love it up here I hope actually by the time I'm ready to buy a house in two years that one becomes available up here. The scenery is just so flipping gorgeous. <clears throat> I swear like this this road alone has got like maybe 10, 15 farms on it. I love that. I kind of bebop around here. I um there's a farm or two down here that I get fresh eggs from, which, and it's actually cheaper than buying eggs at the supermarket, and I'd much rather do that. There's that view. There's the view. So I like to, um, to get eggs from one farmer, the farmer up the road, the other farmer up the road. I like to get my fresh um, produce and from him. Let's start slowing down now. I really like to play music, but I don't want to get struck. Going by another one of our farms in the area. It's Fitch's Corner. It's the oldest living dairy farm in my area. Oh, oldest living. Oldest working dairy. I'm sorry, guys. I like literally had like three or four sips of my coffee before I decided to drive up to the farm and get my order. Which wasn't ready because I said Sunday, not Saturday. <laughs> 
but oh well, whatever. We got a lot of cows and stuff here. <clears throat> Probably gonna mount mount this on my car, but I like to try to keep my car in like brand new condition, like when I bought it. I don't want to put like um, accessories and you know things to hold my phone and stuff in here. <clears throat> to figure out what to do now. I was like, oh, I'm going to get my vegetables, come back, wash them, drink my coffee, wake up. Now I'm at a loss. I'm like, what do I do? It's going to be hot. It's 82 degrees already and it's 930. It's been wicked hot here. I'd like to go fishing. If I go fishing later and I'll do an upload and, and take you guys with me when I fish. Should be interesting. I've never fished with one hand before. You fish and film. Maybe my son will let me borrow like his tripod or whatever and let me set it up while they fish. A lot of farms in this area. It's one of the things I love about where I live. It's an apple orchard. Pick your own apples. Gonna be doing that next month. That's my egg lady. She sells eggs over here. What an absolutely beautiful day. I mean, it's hot, but it's beautiful. It's sunny and... I'm so tired. The farmer Tom was so nice. He was like, I can get your order for you, ready for you. I was like, no, don't worry about it. Like, it was my mistake. I'm not gonna make the man run around and get my order for me when, you know, when I showed up and it was the wrong day. <laughs> Maybe I'll just go back to Saturdays. I'd like to try to get my vegetables like as close to the day I'm going to use them as possible. My big pet peeve now is throwing away food, and I don't know. I don't like to throw away food. <clears throat> Yay! I'm almost to my house. Told y'all I lived in a rural area. I love it out here though. I absolutely do. I live right next to conservation land too. We see so much wildlife. Get rabbits in my yard every day and we had a moose running around the neighborhood last spring. We get a lot of bears in our neighborhood, bobcats. I love my neighbors. My neighbors all have uh, FJB flags and stuff out. And um, oh, man, people keep calling the cops on them and shit. It's really messed up. Like, I don't know what their deal is. People have the right to put what they want on their home. You can see it. He's got let's. He's got let's go, Brandon. FJB. They got. F. Fuck Biden. Fuck Biden. <laughs> I live in the right neighborhood. That's for sure. <laughs> but it's crazy. The cops are always down there, and I know people are calling the cops on them. And it's like, why? 
Why are you going to call the cops on them? Because they got flags that says fuck Biden. Big deal. You know? I think people just like to bitch and complain and be freaking narcs and narc people out. It's all bullshit. Well, I'm back at my house. Back at my house with no produce, but hey, that's okay. That was a good drive. But now I get to finish my coffee. So, until next time, I'm going to try to do a fishing video next time. I really need to get out and do some fishing. Till next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye.